Hello! In this video, I'm going to walk you through the steps of using our turnabout stencils. So far, we have two different turnabout type stencils. Our faceted turnabout stencil pack and our retro petals turnabout stencils. The concept of turning and stenciling them is the same, so I will show you how to turn with our faceted turnabout stencil pack. Let me get these ready here. So this is a two-pack. You actually get two different designs of turnabouts. And let me just show you how easy this can be. You just need a piece of cardstock and your stencil. And all you do to line this up is make sure that the corner of your stencil is cornered at the with your cardstock. Okay? So just place that down and then start with your first color of ink. I'm just using a little sponge dauber and you can quickly fill in this turnabout portion. Now I am just doing this really quickly today so you get the idea of how to use the stencils but you may want to slow down and be a little more particular. Okay, so there we go. We've got one layer down and if you lift that off you get that design. Next, you just take a wipe or a chamois and wipe off your stencil so that you can move on to the next color. Okay, so leaving your paper there, I've just, I'm going to take my stencil, turn it one quarter of a turn, make sure to corner it with my cardstock down in the, that corner there, and move on to my second color of ink. Okay. We're just going to quickly apply the ink there. And that will give you your second layer of ink. Remove that. You can see the design. And I'm just going to clean that stencil off again so I can move on to my third color. Okay, so again, I'm just going to rotate this a quarter of a turn. Lay that down on my cardstock and corner it down in the corner there. And then apply my third color. This is so fun because it doesn't look like much until you reveal the design there. Okay, that's filled in good enough for these purposes. Lift that off. Look, it is developing a really fun design here. I'm going to clean off my stencil and then turn it the fourth turn and put that down in the corner. And let's do our fourth color of ink. We have just had so much fun developing these different types of turnabout tools, and this stencil is really super easy to do. Okay, again, I didn't do this perfectly, but you get the idea. I just wanted to show you how to line up your stencil and you, without a jig or an alignment aid. Okay, look how fun that is. Your design is complete. You've done four turns with your stencil, and you've got four different colors, and this beautiful faceted flower comes from that. Okay, so, like I said, the same holds true, the same idea. You just take this other design and corner it and turn it four times, and let me show you what that creates. So this is the all over pattern that comes in that same stencil pack. So it's inked one time, two times, three times, and four times up to four colors. So that's what that one does. And let me show you some projects that are created with this stencil pack. Okay, so you've got the cute flower and there's also three large sentiments that come on this stencil as well. So that's where that pie there comes from. Here is another one where the flower's in the middle of the card and we've stacked the high there. Here are some samples with the all over background. Now we just did this one with 
um, we die cut the balloon out and actually if you can see that shimmer there one of the turns is heat embossed okay so you would just put like your verse marking can sprinkle it with your powder and then heat emboss it it turns out so cool here is one the fun background and then you're amazing comes from the stencil and then here is another one that shows the all over background and then the congrats is on the stencil but we've stacked the letters instead of going straight across so there are some project ideas with the faceted turnabout stencil let me show you some projects using the other stencil that we have okay this stencil is the retro petals turnabout stencil pack now I do want to point out that the only turnabout in this pack is this design, but these other ones will add to it. Okay, so, and it also coordinates with a Retro Petals stamp set and also this Tulip Labels die. So you can do the turnabout stamping, but you can add in your stencil also. What's cool about that, you might be like, well, why would I get this? Because you can actually do your fourth layer with like embossing paste or something really cool with that stencil. So let me show you what this turnabout looks like. So this is the turnabout. And when you ink it down, again, you corner it on your cardstock, turn it four times, you'll end up with a design that looks like this. Very cool. Now, with this second stencil, this diamond shape, you can actually take this and layer it in between that design. Okay, so here's what the diamonds, they look super cute, used on their own. But then when you add it to this design it looks like this so you're basically filling in your whole pattern you can also just use the diamonds but you would shift your stencil over for the different colors so you get a multi-color look there okay now this one's really cool what you can do is you can actually make a spectrum so when you lay your stencil down um, you would just do like the first three rows yellow then your oranges and then your reds and then when you do your turning, do the same thing. So when you turn it, you do the same thing. Three rows of yellow, three ye rows of orange, and then red. You actually get that cool spectrum. And then uh, <clears throat> you could really step it up and just do a spectrum all the way across, too, using lots of colors of ink. So that one's really fun. Let me show you some projects that we made with this stencil pack. So this is that turnabout in the four colors, and then we just added the blue diamonds in the middle. And this big hugs also comes from the stencil pack right here. So you can stencil that in. Here's the one I was talking about where it's got the spectrum all the way down. Here is another one where we've just used the diamonds in the background and then use these little tulips that are also in the stencil pack. Here is another one that shows these rows of tulips and the little leaves. And then you've got the little dots there too that you can add in. Here is another one. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it as well, but this is the turnabout stamp. And then I mentioned the embossing paste. So there's some texture there. And we did that with the turnabout stencil as the last step. And then here is another really cute one with the four turns of the turnabout stencil. Okay, so I have shown you how to use our turnabout stencils. It is super easy. We hope you enjoy making a lot of different background options with our turnabout stencils. Mm -hmm.